getting straight. Now listen, y'all, man. Today, man, I'm gonna just uh react to this video about this lady. She spoke facts based upon you know having understanding, you know, what I'm saying some of the basic things that men ask for when it comes to uh commitment. So we're gonna get into that right now. So a creator by the name of Mr. Daddy 63 made a video that went viral where he listed five things that he believes a woman should never have to do when she has a man in her life. Now, I would like to do my version of five things a man should never have to do when he has a woman in his life. And this is a man who is taking care of business. We're not talking about you bums out there. Facts. <laughs> like she said, we ain't talking about these bums, these and when I say bum as a guy, I'm talking about men who strictly don't want to do anything. The dude to just walk around life and get caught or walk around this bitch like he walk around like he's some bad bitch or something like that. Like somebody's supposed to just hand him everything. He could just sit down and just everything just come to him without putting in any work. Those are bums. We ain't talking about the man is actually going out there trying to get forward every day. You know what I'm saying? That's a different story. But let's continue, though. Okay, here goes. Number one, a man should never have to pack his own lunch. You're already cooking dinner. Why not set an extra chicken leg, an extra potato, and an extra serving of broccoli to the side when you cook so he can have a lunch ready to go in the morning? I'm telling you, it's a big flex for him to be sitting in that break room with co-workers and he's got a nice lunch packed and it's smelling good and throw a little note in there and telling him what you're going to do later on that night. And he blush, big flex. Now, what she's saying is facts and she's speaking to the guy who actually, you know, works a job and, you know, um, you know, break time. And I can relate to that because I used to work at a warehouse, you know, and when you work at a warehouse, it was a guy there. And um, he used to get like a nice big piece of chicken or like fish or steak, whatever it was. And it had like rice and vegetables and stuff every day. And all the dudes that work with like, dang, man, you know what I'm saying? They ask questions like, dang, man, I see a, I see you got a nice lady at the crib just throwing down on the food side. So what she's saying is facts, though, because when you come to work like that, you in that break room, everybody ain't going to have that same dish of food that you got as a man. And the man definitely going to be asking some questions. They're going to be looking at you. It's definitely a flex. But like she said, adding that note in there, talking about what you're going to do later, that's definitely going to keep that man motivated. He's going to go in that job and dominate for sure. This woman, yeah, she's speaking facts, but let's continue. Number two, a man should never have to ask for encouragement. The world beats our men up enough. Why is he being beat up at home? If this man is handling all of his business and he has a day where he's feeling down and he's feeling like he can't do it, encourage that man. Speak life into that man because the better he feels, the better he can make you feel. Teamwork. See, and th those are facts because this is a woman who definitely is very empathetic towards the man, you know, the male experience, who actually look at it from the male lens. It's very few females out there who have that kind of quality. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely got to respect that for a woman to understand and think about the things that man got to deal with when they go out into the world and dominate and being able to provide that peace for him when he come home. Those are key components right there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, 100 percent. That's the type of female. You know what I'm saying? This ain't got nothing to do with me. But I mean, as a person, that's those are the type of women who actually become wives because they understand they have those qualities and they're very empathetic towards the male experience. Versus mass majority of women who aren't. But let's continue. Number three. A man should never have to ask to be celebrated. We expect him to do all of these things for us. And you can't say thank you. You can't say I appreciate you. You can't make a big deal when he walks into the house with something new for you. You can't make a big deal when he cuts the grass and he got them lines perfectly. You can't celebrate that man for handling business. Celebrate that man. And sometimes you need to make a big deal out of it. So he feels the desire to keep doing it. See, that's a female who understand things that most girls don't understand or they don't care to. You see what I'm saying? Because I say this time and time. You know, when I talk to, you know, my partners or I talk to, you know, my sisters and stuff like that. And I say things like that. See, that's a woman who understand the more that she do, the more motivated he gets to go out and do more. And guess what? She benefit that in the long run. That's a female who have the ability to think long term. You know what I'm saying? 
that and and for that reason right there those be the kind of women who get the men that most of these girls don't get and they be wondering why because they don't have the ability to think that way man she cooking right now speaking straight facts let's continue number three this man should never have to ask for intimacy why are we using it as a weapon you want him to get up and handle business without being asked why you can't handle business without being asked facts facts don don demarco for that one man she is cooking this is a woman who gets it don demarco for that shit right there yes see this is a female like i said to y'all who gets it man and i've noticed in relationships marriages women do this you know i've seen guys that being that be icy blue pill beta steps he go out there handle his business he paying all the bills you know the um lining the kids stuff up the trust fund for the children you know he's uh keeping the grass cut you know what i'm saying and he's protecting j just doing everything as a man leading them in the right direction you know what i'm saying and then those women will t start with holding sex talking about they tired I don't feel like it today. Okay, what if he don't feel like paying the um the mortgage? What if he don't feel like feel like paying for that expensive, luxurious car that that big ass truck that you drive around in every day? What if he don't feel like providing the money so that it could be food on the table? You see what I'm saying? A man is always supposed to do his job, and then they can afford the right to be selective on when they want to do it. If he doing all this work, like she said, there should be no kickback when it comes to him getting sex. A man to go out there and do everything he's supposed to do, and all you got to do is take care of the children in the house, that man should be able to get sex whenever he wants. It should be no argument. Now, you know, there are a few things here and there. Maybe she might uh, might be cramping up or, you know, she on her cycle for the month. Those are all understandable things, but I'm speaking outside of that. When a man is doing what he's supposed to do, there should be no kickback when he wants some sexual pleasure. Facts. She's speaking the facts, the man. She's cooking. Let's continue. Why does he have to beg and plead and bribe you to handle his physical needs? What did your grandmama teach you? You never let a man leave out of the house angry, hungry, or keep playing. Facts. And that's another thing, too, I want to allude to because I've heard it. Several guys been in marriages seven, eight months, no, not getting no sex from the woman. Doing everything he's supposed to do as far as being a provider, keeping the food on the table, keeping the lights on, paying all the bills. But seven, eight months, he ain't getting no sex. And that same female will be mad when he go outside the marriage or that relationship and get some from another woman. It's already to a certain extent that men, men have, most men don't get to exercise the right to have option with women. And then you want to hinder him by not sexually satisfying him, especially when he's paying all the bills. You want to go seven, eight months and withhold because you're talking about you don't feel like it and you tired. Then when he go out there and go get that shit from somebody else, them be the main females trying to go out, cry, play victim and act like he did him so wrong. Oh, he cheated on me. Well, why don't you tell him why he cheated on you? Why don't you tell everybody why you withheld sex in a relationship or the marriage for seven to nine months? Tell him that part when you say he cheated. I guarantee the scenario will be a lot different. Women going to look at you a lot differently. Well, dang, girl, that's your fault. <laughs> well, dang, I mean, girl, you should at least been putting out. It's going to be a percentage of women that are going to look at you. But that's the part that they'll hold out in these marriages and relationships about the guy. You see what I'm saying? So right now, man, like I said, she's cooking. She's speaking those facts, y'all. Let's continue. And last but not least, a man should never have to ask for support. If this man is a visionary, if he's leading his house, if he is operating in the capacity that benefits everybody in his family, when he comes to you with a plan and he tells you, baby, what do you think? You need to be saying, I'm on board and what can I do? Because the better your family operates, the better everybody is in whole, the easier your job is ultimately. Support that man when he's doing positive things and put in effort to help him so y'all can build together and be a dream team. Facts. Now that last part was, whew. yeah. Dumb, dumb, I'm gonna have to rewind that one, play that back one time. Y'all got so a creator by the name. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta pay very close attention to that one right there. We gotta rewind that one. That was, that was great. 
Check this if out. he is operating in the capacity that benefits everybody in his family, when he comes to you with a plan and he tells you, baby, what do you think? You need to be saying, I'm on board. And what can I do? Facts. When he comes to you with a plan and he's operating in a capacity, meaning he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. And he come to you with a plan and he say, and he say, baby, what you think? You need to be saying, I'm on board. What can I do? Facts. See, this is what I'm trying to say. These be the type of women right here, y'all. Man, all you men paying attention. Listen, this is this is the type of female that most men should be with when they want commitment or a marriage. You see what she said? I'm on board. What can I do? That's a woman who understands everything that a lot of these fucking women cannot see or they just too stubborn to want to do. You see what I'm saying? How they want you to check off all these boxes. But they don't come like this. They don't have that mentality like her to see things long term. You see what I'm saying? Those are the women who get the men that most of these women will never get because they're too selfish and they can't get out of their own self to see it from the male's perspective and understand what that guy wants. Facts. I don't know if she may or got a man or not, but I guarantee you somebody's going to come through and wife her up. That's the truth, man. You know, I just had to rewind that, like I said, so y'all men can really hear that. And I'm going to play it back one more time because you men need to drill this in your head. This needs to be indoctrinated in your brain. When y'all dealing with these ratchet ass, disrespectful, selfish, inconsiderate, delusional women, you need to come back, listen to this video. Let this play in your mind. If you one of those dudes out there who dealing with a female, who is unworthy of your time, let this doctrinate into your brain, man. I'm going to rewind this one more time so you can hear this, man. Because this is a really, really important part about being a man that she understands. If this man is a visionary, if he's leading his house, if he is operating in the capacity that benefits everybody in his family. Now, notice he said operating the capacity that benefits everybody in his family leading. That means he's you're absolutely leading correctly and you are showing it through your actions. Listen, when he comes to you with a plan and he tells you, baby, what do you think? You need to be saying I'm on board. And what can I do? Did you hear that? I'm on board. What can I do? When you come to your woman with that and you lean in the capacity where you've done nothing more to show your groundwork and everything is going smooth in the household. That woman should be telling you, I'm on board. What can I do? Keywords. Listen to the rest. Continue. Because the better your family operates, the better everybody is in whole, the easier your job is ultimately. Facts. When you're submissive, right? And you're standing by your man and you saying, what can I do? And you're doing whatever it is he needs you to do on that mission to get there. Guess what? It's as a woman it's a lot more easy for you man and to the man for the women it's a lot more easy for them women fight about getting on a man's program this is what happened when you get on that man's program and he's leading properly it is a lot more easier for her women it's a lot more easier for you women need to listen to this too man Women, let this indoctrinate in your brain because these are the components. These are some of the key components to get you to lock down the kind of man that you want. And to the men, listen to this, because this is the type of women, the woman that you want to give commitment and, and marriage to that think this way, that move this way. A woman should be thinking, moving, operating in this direction, that kind of frequency. That's the kind of energy you need. That's the kind of female that you want to give commitment and relationships to but listen man that's all i gotta say about that like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend i'll see y'all in the next video i'm out yeah got the streets on fire feel the heat the way way ain't never had no handouts put in work i'm self-made superhero strength i got the Power Luke Cage, flexing on them haters like Drake. This is real.